Welcome to Billy Review Stuff, where I review stuff. Today I'm looking at Cosmic Legion's Kragnar. This was my second most anticipated figure for this wave, and I cannot wait. wait. Oh, excuse me. Can't wait to uh, unbox him. But also, I'd like to thank everybody. Uh, the channel has reached 600 subscribers. Uh, thank you all so much. I'm so glad people put up with my voice. Um, <laughs> and my... Uh, uh, inconsistent reviews, I feel, at least in my own opinion. But um, after the 27th, I should have where I'm getting together a giveaway of sorts, finally. You know, I, I've said it in the past, maybe once or twice. But I think, like, you know, now now we're going to have uh, giveaways every uh, so many subscribers. But I'll figure that out. I'll make a video about it. But also, thanks again, guys. You're the best. I come here for you. I mean you. So let's get him out of the box because, oh, I've been waiting for this. That's way to be positive there, Kragnar. I'm, I'm all about that. But again, uh, this was like my, my second most anticipated figure uh, right by Slog. Honestly, it's like, you know, a swapping back and forth for him because like, oh, I was so ready for him. And also he, he too has like a sweet cell block cut out, which uh, look at real quick. This Let's see if I unlock the focus. Yeah, this this is also very well detailed, and also I'm I'm gonna probably be keeping this and throwing it in my not detail. Uh, it just it just looks fantastic. Like it's worth keeping. It's I, I don't say that much for packaging, honestly. <laughs> but let's take a look at his accessories real quick. I said pop this out. There we go. That's his 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 mace weapon. And it has where it looks like it comes off here. And yeah, there I don't there's nothing yet that matches that mythic or cosmic lesions. Dupe. Dupe. I'm I'm all for it. It is very snug. I'm saying some people had where they uh they snap pieces if they had where they worked them too hard, but I think because this is this is hard plastic, so you don't want to be like on the end there. Let's see here. Oh god. Come out. Stuff's in there. Jesus Louise. Criminy. Okay, we got the plugs for his back to fill in the slots back here. Got both of those out. And now we just gotta get the arms out. Because his species has where they was it? Du there's duoderm, and then there was like quad quadroderm or some kind of. I probably just read it and forgot it because I'm a bum like that. But they have another character coming out in Outpost Zaxis is the wave. I think it's I think it's the third wave at this point in Cosmics. Uh, it has where it's a it's a duoderm slash quadra four forearm thing. It's a forearm space monster. Uh, which is fantastic, uh, but like, yeah, look, take take a look at this detail on this. This is that's fantastic. That's the sculpt work on this is 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 is, is <sighs> there's not words for it because it's super detailed, just super detailed. It's super detailed sculpt work because like there's wear to the metal on his manacles slash forearm guards. It's it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. And I wanted to let's see, pop this out. Oh, that pops out. Nice. I like how that pops out. I was all about these manacles for uh, one reason here. Because I wanted to see if the... I think this is the correct one. Are you the... This is a this is a, it's a left arm. If the Mythic Legion ones would go... Yep, Mythic Legion ones go on there perfectly. Perfectly. And vice versa fit on to a mythic legion perfectly that's that's what i'm here for for this is the this is the ogre scale by the way so i can like pop a hand into here and boom you got some sweet sweet giant manacles for your ogre I guess they're ogre size. This would this would be what you'd put in like if you made like a, a mythic legion jail cell because like it still has where it's 
it's it's rough enough that you could be like, hey, you can fudge it into Mythic Legions, or if you just want to have like a overscale person in Cosmics. So that was one thing I wanted to check out. Pluck you back around, and like it works. It works for Kragnar. I like it. There we go. Uh, let's see here about getting him out of the package real quick. Second head sculpt. This is stoic face. I like that. I like his lip. Number two head. It's it, it definitely has that look. It has that it is it is like the paint scheme for the thing or or Brontus. I I I love this. I, I love any time like orange is used with like blue eyes. It just you you think of the thing right there. Fantastic Force, the thing, Ben Grimm. He's also got fists. Which I mean like they're fists. They're 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 fantastic, obviously. The, just the, the scales on it. Wonderful. Get him out of this package safely. Carefully somewhat. And the feeder locked in there too. Okay. Silica gel. Make sure you dispose of that properly. Especially if you have pets. Fun fact. Don't let them get that. Alright. So Kragnar is free. This is... Oh, I love that look. I love that just... Grill, that schneer there. I was hoping, well, well I was ho hoping, not hoping, I was hoping I could put the ogre scale head on this, but now that, like, having it in hand, you can see how his head's done, it would have to be, like, a different kind of, like, head setup to be able to do that, because it'd be all weird on the front if it did fit. So I'm okay with that. Let's see how easy it is to pull his face off. Face off. There we go. Went to bed. Yeah. Yeah, this would not work with that head on the ogre scale. Even though, like, originally before I... At first I wasn't, like, super sold on Cosmic, but as they've gotten closer and they've gotten them in hand and everything, they they have definitely grown on me. I had hoped to be able to, like, put that head on there, but I'm okay with not being able to do that because still, he's super cool looking. Let's see here. Get his feet all done up. Standing boy. Ooh, yeah. And uh, this is a fun fact about like this at the originally in uh, when it's sitting over there, this wasn't supposed to move, but then it made it into a moving thing. And it's like this is this is a neat little extra there where you can put like chain through there and connect it to the manacles. You just got to go to like Hobby Lobby or your Walmart store and just find like a like a good gauge little craft chain. It's not too bad. And let's see here. I wanted to see how easy it was to put these in here. Let's see here. This should be going this way. I think, yeah, those are not bad to put in at all. I feel like they got them just right to have where you could pull them out. Well, that one's a little tighter. I'm worried about that pulling out, but boom. Now he's a, a duoderm. Let's get his ankles going. His ankles are a little stiff. Oh, oh, they even sculpted the bottom of these feet too. They were all about feet. They got all these sculpted. There's, like, no one was going to look at the bottom of his feet. No one. That's there. That's fantastic. Okay. So, articulation. Head, you know, down so far. Off so far. <laughs> up so far. I think that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's as up as it goes. And how far can we get to the left? Yeah, pretty good left. My left. You're right. Whatever. Let's see how far we get these arms up and get into a T pose. Oh, pull that out. That's okay. It's supposed to come out. Get back in there. Good T pose there. No bicep rotation. All the rotations always at the like elbow there. 
get a 90 on these arms. Same with his wrists are back and forth. There's no uh, up and down hinge. There's only left and right hinge. Pretty good. You could twist them all the way around. And let's see here. This is the one where I'm going to... I might have to... Because I know he has a torso now. Which is... Yeah, he's got a torso. Upper torso hinge. Let's see. I'm actually going to... I'm going to take off his armor here. Because I want to mess with this more. Okay, let's see here. Let's see how far we can tilt him to the... Our left. I mean, that's... This is... This is kind of groundbreaking for Mythic Legions to have like an upper torso like this and have where it's like on this size body and have where it's a ball joint down here and not just a peg. That's... Oh, I cannot wait for like everything coming in poxis and everything and have this body used again in Mythic Legions too. That's... Let's see here. That's... That's pretty gosh darn forward. He can he can look at his toes. Let's see here. Yeah, he can look at his toes. That's wow. How far back can I get him? And you can look up too. Look up. That's that's kind of crazy. That's that's something new right there. Obviously, you can kick forward. A ton because he has that new ogre hips where it just has where it's just a regular ball, which is fantastic. Everybody wanted these for so long, and we finally got them. Makes these figures some of the best ones in the line. Ogre scales some of the best figures in the line now because of those hips. Let's see if I get this to bend. I didn't heat this up. Okay, there we go. There we go. Not quite a 90 at the knee. Forward so far. Back so far. And of course, always a really good ankle rocker with these. Oh, those are, those are good tight joints. Oh, Kragnar, you're the best. Well, the best so far. <laughs> I mean, I do love slog. I love High Warden slog, but like, I'm going to be able to do a lot with Kragnar. A lot with him now. And let's see here. Let's pop these out real quick. See how hard those are. I'm just going to like twist and pull some. Let's grab it. My little greasy hands in there. There we go. And this one went in easier. So I think it would come. Yeah, this comes out easier. I can just kind of twist and they kind of like, they come out like a stopper. Just kind of like, since they have where they kind of like go out that way, I just twist and pull. It kind of catches on the edge and goes up out. So that's, that was a good method for that. Face down. <laughs> that was a good method for that. Uh, if you need to get them back out. Well, let's get these arms in here. Because the whole point is the forearms on this guy. And they have where they got like a, a pretty... I'd say I'd say it's a pretty deep socket in there to get them in. Okay. I want to knock over the camera and the lights and everything else. Okay. So how... I mean like... You turn these this way, and you have them going over like that. They they're still pretty neat. I like I like how they work. Um, having having arms over the shoulder is like a, a tough thing to do. You can do it with like mythic legions going through their like their pauldron holes and stuff. And it's it's semi worked in the past. It kind of works on where they take and they did it with uh oh god it's the Webster tribute from uh PowerCon last year. That one kind of works with it too. But like, it was it was really far away from the shoulder, so that was a thing that kind of I wasn't a super fan of. But this has where it's oh, I'm trying to get these back on there. Has where it's closer since it has where it's carved out for it, and it's not just a back adapter shoved on there to put forearms on. Get back on there. Why do I suck at putting things on? Of course, I'm trying to do this live too, so you know, eh, of course, it's gonna you know suck. But there we go. There we go. Harness is back on. But, I mean, it works better since it has where it's carved out. Obviously, you can't quite reach over. But, I mean, like, if you're doing something where, like, he's holding someone up or if he has where he's, like, he's chained to a display 
you know, that would work very well too with this. Um, I mean, like from reality, like functional arms, it's, it's something, but like you can get them down there, have a weapon down there. Or I mean like the way these hands are done up, they look like they could be holding like a blaster or something. Uh, do I have one laying around that might be to scale? It's not going to be to scale. It's this one here. No way. Not to scale. But you, you get you, you You find a way to play with your toys, you know? But, like, since it is carved out very well, you can have where he's standing at, like, a relaxed pose even with him. And it doesn't look weird. It has where... It doesn't look like it's jutting out the back. This this forearm monster has where he works, and it doesn't look awkward. It doesn't look weird with it. It has where it looks like he's supposed to have four arms. This is natural for him. Uh, bravo, Four Horsemen. Bravo, Eric Treadway. You have where you made a forearm monster that has where he looks right. He looks how you think one would look where it's like, it's natural. It flows with the sculpt. I'm. That's all I can say. <laughs> That's all I got. Um, I guess size comparisons. Then I have my, my handless uh, ogre scale mythic legion over here. Uh, <laughs> he's just a little bit taller than that. Obviously, with a co regular Cosmic Legions figure slash Mythic Legion size figure, he's going to be towering over that. Um, if you wanted to, for some reason, put him with, like, Furry, vet uh, furry Veteran uh, William, he still towers over him. To have him fight any kind of character from Marvel Legends, he's still going to super tower over a standard one of those. Let's see here, what else do I have here? Um, da, da, da. The Indomitable, Indomitable Owlbear is still wider, but he's still towering over her. Ain't got much else. I mean, like, he he's a beast of a figure. This guy's fantastic. Like, check the retailers, get one. Because, like, if you don't get him, they have... Uh, what is it? What is it? What? The, the name of it here uh, from Outpost Axis, him coming. Um, they have the Mythic Legion uh, Dragon Dragonborn figure from Poxus coming. Name here, picture here, stuff like that. He's close. He'll be using the same like body minus the head. Uh, pick him up because like I love this sculpt. It's fantastic. Um, run, don't walk. Find your Kragnar or find the body of Kragnar used in another figure because, like, it's it's very nice. Like, I can see crocodile men being made out of this. Uh, all sorts of, like, lizard folk, things like that for customs. I love the feet. The feet are weird. I don't know why they... They, they didn't have to, but they did. They did. Find him. Find your Kragnar. This has been Billy Beige. Please subscribe, uh, like, and uh, see you next time.